are angry, it's okay. I'm not angry. Except when you keep repeating, you're angry. And that shit's fucking annoying. Like a fucking gnat at a barbecue. Just, 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 just bugging the fuck out of me. Good. I want you to say, I'm angry. It's okay. I'll process my anger. I love myself. Wooza. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And boom, I'm back. Episode two, and I'm coming with that fire. You know, I'm I'm comfortable now. I know how all this shit works. You know, I I was editing episode one, and I noticed I kept looking over there for some reason. I'm like, why the hell I keep looking over there? But in this room is a window out there, and I'm I'm nosy, so I'm looking at people walk by and all that crap. But then the camera, right? I was I was worried about the camera because the camera, you can't see this, but the camera is like right in my face. So I'm like, I don't want people seeing my damn nose and all my follicles and shit. So I was like, I was worried that you guys are too close in my face, right? But then when I look at the screen on the top of the thing, it looks like I'm 10 miles away. So I kept looking at the top of the screen instead of looking directly in the camera. So, you know, I'm, I'm learning. We live, we learn, we move on, right? So... Before I jump into this topic, because I'm coming with that energy, right? We were going to do music today. We're going to do music. That's the topic. But I just want to recap something that just happened recently. I mean, it's over because it was over in like two days, but everybody went crazy. The whole gas thing. How crazy was the gas thing? It was, it was insane. I remember I was just sitting down, you know, at my job. Somebody comes up to me. Oh, you got to get gas. You got to get gas. The Russians. And I don't watch the news. So I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So I'm staring at the guy like, huh? So you got to get gas. It's going to go up to five, six, seven dollars a gallon. Get gas now. Right. And I looked at him. I'm like, okay. Like, no, I'm not going to get gas now. I'm going to get gas. Hey, I'm going to get gas when I need gas. That's when I'm going to get gas. So he's, you know, he's going around telling everybody, get gas, get gas, get gas. And I'm like, okay, no, I'm not going to get gas, right? So I never even looked into it. I, 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 I don't really know what happened because I'm like, this is stupid, right? So, you know, I drive by me, gas still the same. Now there's some pumps that are not working. You know, they're only doing 87, which is great because that's what my car takes. But anyway, notice the gas prices still the same, still the same. And then I, you know, I go on social media and then I see like these videos and pictures. There's people, they're filling up like all these gallons, uh, you know, these gas gallons with all this gas and then like empty water gallons they are filling up with gas. And then some hillbillies had a fucking inflatable pool. They're filling it up with gas. And I'm like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? And then, you, you know, what made it worse. Ooh. I go online and I see a family member's doing it and I'm like, oh God. I'm like, you had to do it. I'm I'm about to make fun of those people and you had to do it. So I have a family member. He has all these gallons of gas cans and stuff. I'm like, oh God. Would everybody just relax? This this goes to show if there's like a zombie apocalypse or anything that happens, aliens, whatever the fuck happens, we ain't gonna survive. We ain't. You know, because we were just tripping. I saw that shit. I'm like, hey, why don't you just get gas when you need gas? You know? And then when I went to go get gas, I saw a person in front of me. He was filling up the tanks. And I'm just staring at him. I'm like, what do you use that all for? What do you use it for? It never changed. The gas price has never changed by me. I don't know about everybody else. It's been 289. 289 hasn't moved. Hasn't moved a bit. And now all the pumps are working. What, what does this shit last? Like two days? Two days. And people were going crazy. I mean, I went to work the next day. They were like, did you get gas yet? Did you get gas yet? I'm like, no, I, don't, I didn't need gas. I'm going to wait till like my, my tanks are, you know, a quarter to empty and then I'm going to get gas. And hey, if I had to pay the $5.99, that's what you got to do. I'm not going to fucking sit here and be like, hey, somebody get fucking more gallons of water. 
We need to fill it with gas because we're not going to survive. You know? Come on, people. Let's get, let's get real. You know? Stop being crazy. What the fuck happened when we, we were out of toilet paper? I don't even remember that. I just remember there was no toilet paper. And then people try to sell it online. Like, one roll of toilet paper. $499. You're like, okay. Nope. Rather just go shit to shower. I'd rather shit to shower than to pay some inflation price on your fucking toilet paper. But anyway, I just wanted to say that. I was like, this, this was the craziest shit that just happened recently. I'm like, uh, and what's next? You know, that's what you got to say right now. What's next? But anyway, also, you know what I noticed? Like, I, I need a time when before I come on to like breathe. Because I, I noticed in the last episode, I felt I was out of breath. It's not just from talking, but before I, I turn everything on and get everything going, I'm all over the place. I'm like, shoom, shoom, shoom. Make sure this is hooked up. Make sure this is there. Make sure this is out of my way. Make sure I lock the door so nobody comes in while I'm doing this. So I'm running around, running around. And then when I finally sit down, I'm like, hey. I'm like out of breath. So I'm like, next, next, next one, I'll, you know, chill for a bit. And then get on to it. But anyway, let's talk about music, right? So music, to me, right now, it's crap. You know, and I say that, you know, carefully because, you know, I mean, I like certain things that are coming out right now. But I really prefer the old school stuff. Like, if you see me and I'm listening to music, it's all old school stuff. Nothing new, right? And, um... I want to talk about the the main thing is women and their songs and their lyrics. So, but before I want to tell you, like, so I try to keep up with like new trends, you know, even though I'm 35 and I'm a dad and I should just cut shit out. So I try to keep up with like what's new, right? So I remember I was in the office. I'm listening to all my old school shit, old school R and B, old school everything. So I, I go up to a guy who, you know, he was. He's going to be a rapper, he told me. So I was like, cool, all right, man, great. We're just going to call him Classic Man. So Classic Man said, he was like, yeah, I'm going to be a rapper. So, you know, I was like, all right. So I was like, what are people listening to? Like, what, what's new? I was like, I told him, I listen to old school stuff. Like, I like this, this, this. And he was like, oh, he's like, I got to put you on. He was like, did you hear the, the new YFN Lucci album? And I was like, I don't even know what you just said. He's like, you don't know YFN Lucci? And I was like, mm-hmm, nope, sure don't. So he, he he goes on. He's like, hey, listen to this latest album. So I put it on. I was like, all right, let's be open-minded. Let's try to get through the whole album, right? So I put on the first three tracks. I'm like, eh, I don't like it. Eh, I don't like it. And then I sit through a couple more and I'm not feeling it. So I go to, like, you know how I like in. Like, I don't know what other places do, but like Apple Music, they put like a star of like what's popular, the most popular song that he has. And then I was like, let me play all the popular ones, right? Played it. Nope. Didn't like it. Went straight back to all the old school shit. I'm like, nah, I'm not into it. If this is what they're into today, I pass. I pass. And then I I, I wanted to look up YFN Lucci, but I was like, I also didn't want to waste my time and have something crazy pop up on my fucking screen at work so i was like all right whatever can't listen to that guy anymore so classic man you're gone classic man also had a song he 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 had he i heard one of his little rap albums and the song he really talks about shrimp and pasta and i was like i don't know i don't i don't get it but okay moving on from that though so let's talk about women and women lyrics i am loving women And their lyrics these days. I mean, they are crazy. But there's two types of crazy, right? So I had to write this down because I don't know names of people who sing songs. Like if you like, you know, uh, you know who OT Genesis is? If you ask me that, I'll say no. But if you say the song Coco, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know that guy. You know, so that's how I am. So this song, (laughs) it's like a country song. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely not into country, but... Well, it's some country, but her name is Gabby Barrett or Barrett. I don't know what the fuck. Gabby Barrett, right? The song is called I Hope, right? And if you don't know that song. Oh, in this episode, I'm going to be singing a lot because you know why? I can't play clips of music because YouTube's going to take it down. 
And then I'm like, you know, it's, it's going to be weird. But So I'll put on the screen who I'm talking about, the song, the album, whatever. So the song's called I Hope, right? So these are the two types of crazies you got. This is the crazy crazy. So the song, <laughs> the song is about, I guess, her wanting revenge on her boyfriend or whatever. She, it's like, she hopes everything. The whole song is like, she hopes everything goes great for this guy, right? But then there's like the twist at the end. So she was like, right now, I hope that she's, you know, giving you kisses where you like kisses or, or some shit like that, right? It, it just keeps going on. She just puts a list of good things like, I hope she rubs your feet like you like your feet rubbed, right? And then at the end, or well, in the middle, she turns around and then she goes, and then I hope she cheats. Like you did on me. <laughs> the whole song, she's like, yeah, I hope she makes you lasagna. And I hope it's delicious. And then I hope she cheats like you did on me. The funniest fucking song ever. Like, I never listen to lyrics. Like, I go for beat first. And if I like the beat, then I, then I get into the lyrics. So... When she said that, I couldn't stop laughing. I was in the, my car. This is where all the shit happens. I'm in my car. Because I'm like, let me finally listen to what s songs are saying. And she's just like, I hope she does this. I hope she does that. And then I hope she cheats. <laughs> like you did on me, you sack of shit. And I love it. I love every minute of that song. And am I going to listen to all her other music? If it sounds like that, I probably will. But if it's not like that, not listening to it. But I, I still, I always laugh. I play that song just to laugh. Because there was another song before that song. I don't know. Well, I actually don't know the order that these things came out. But there's a song. Uh, I dug my key into the side. I don't, I don't know who sings that shit. But that makes me laugh too. It's like she, she goes hard on revenge too. But. That's one type of crazy, right? And now there's the, the, the sexual crazy lyrics that women are putting out these days. I mean, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan, you know? One, uh, who is it, 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 who is it? God damn it, I can't remember. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, like, I know the name. I, I want to say she's with Disney. I don't really know shit, right? So I want to say she was with Disney or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't know her background. I don't know who the fuck she was dating. But anyway, never paid attention to her. Ariana Grande, heard the name, whatever. So, you know, there was this one song I was playing in the radio, and I just liked it. What caught my ear because I wasn't paying attention, of course. She goes, and I was drinking coffee, and I was getting healthy. <laughs> so I was like, you got my attention because. I was drinking coffee, coffee, and I just finished working out, so it made me laugh, right? So I, I started singing that to myself. I was like, I'm drinking coffee, and I'm eating healthy. So I was saying that, right? And then I started listening to the song. I listened to the unedited, right? And the first time I listened to the unedited, I was like, what the fuck? Because it's like, can you stay up all night? Fuck me to the daylight. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I was like... What is this song about? I thought she was fucking talking about, you know, being healthy for 2021. This girl's like, fuck me to the daylight. And then I was like, oh, wait, pause. I was like, can't do that. I'm 35 and I don't have that type of fucking stamina anymore. I can't fucking tell. I don't know who's doing that after 35. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of crazy. Not unless you like, you got a blue chew, you know, something sponsored by blue chew or some shit. But I was like, what the fuck? Fuck me to the daylight. <laughs> Like, okay, I don't know who's doing that, but great for you if you're getting that, right? So, and then the song keeps going. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is this song about? And I seen the numbers. It's, it's 30. The, the name of the song is 34 plus 35. And I was like, that's 69. Oh my God. I was like, uh, so this song is about. So then I really got into the lyrics, right? And she has the craziest lyrics. I mean, I wish I could play it. I wish I could. But like, she was like, and I don't really, I don't know if I can sing this close, but she says, what she's like, <laughs> she says, some, some, some seatbelt, I'm going to ride it. I'm going to leave it open like a door come inside it. Even though I'm wifey, you can hit it like a side chick. I don't need no side dick. Okay. 
Okay, I was like, sign me up. Sign me up. I'm a fan now. I, I don't know you. I don't know, you know, your last name is the fucking size at Starbucks. But I don't know you, but now I like you, you know? I was like, sign me up after she said that. Baby, I'm wifey, but you can hit it like a side chick. I don't need no side dick. I was like, ooh, sign me up. That's what I was like. That's what I was like. I was like, ooh, got to listen to more songs. Hopefully, they're like that, right? And then she just keeps going with these crazy lyrics. And at the end, the end is the best part. <laughs> the end, she ends it with, means I want a 69 with you. Oh, shit. And I... <laughs> I was in the car like, oh, shit. I was like, you got my money. Here, take my money. Because I love that song now. I have it on my thing. You think I'm lying. You go through my history. You're going to see the song. But I was like, God damn. And, and even before her, right? Right before her. Let's take it a little, a little back, right? When Nicki Minaj came out, right? And she was doing all this stuff with Young Money, right? She had a song. It was a song. It was called um, it was called Roger That, right? I don't even know if it's her song, but she was featured in it, right? It was like Roger That. R- R- Roger That. I don't know if y'all know it, but look it up. I'm going to put it in there somewhere so you guys can see. But, you know, there's one part where she goes, something, something, you tripping to what? Flow tighter than the dick in the butt. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, rewind. <laughs> flow tighter than the dick in the butt and i'm like i want to masturbate now i want to masturbate now that's what i said to myself because i was like wow i mean that shit i was like i, I must have rewound that shit over and over over and over i was like i, I don't even know who else is in it. i know little wayne he got something like fresh out the jet like a gillette or something like that but i don't even know who the guy in the middle was don't even know him Cause I was, I was, I kept rewinding that part. I'm like, damn, that is some powerful shit right there. And I am oddly turned on. I don't know why I'm turned on, but I'm turned on, right? So there was the Roger that, my Nicki Minaj. Blah, 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 blah. There was, I mean, there's WAP, right? That's that's the newest. Um, I mean, Cardi B, whatever, whatever Cardi B says is crazy. So yeah, I'm a fan of that shit though. I like those lyrics. I don't know why. They turned me on, and I like the lyrics. You know? What's she say? What the fuck she says? Uh, I want to gag. I want to choke. I want you to touch that dangly thing back of my throat. I was like, ugh. And then at the same time, I was like, hey, did mine ever touch the thing at the back of the throat? I don't even know. Are other guys thinking this? Probably yes. And I moved on. I moved on. I'm like, okay. I don't know if I ever touched that thing, but cool. But yeah, I'm like, whew, whew, those lyrics. I mean, I used to like, you know, like all the male lyrics. I'm like, damn, did you hear what he said? Like, I still think, and a lot of people know this one, the Lil Wayne lyric. I'm going to compare, like, lyrics. This is why, you know. So, old Lil Wayne, I like this, the, this, um, this lyric. And I saw it on, I forgot what show, but I think Joe Button was on it or some shit. But he he goes, um, what's the song? Um, You better wear latex because you don't want that latex that I think I'm latex. One of the best lines ever. One of the best. That and real G's move in silence like lasagna. That's two of the best lines ever. But anyway, but then like I heard him on this uh, new stuff that Nicki Minaj is doing. I think it's called Seeing Green, right? And he has a part where he says... I got a hoe out of Atlanta, hoe out of Atlanta. She had a hoe out in Atlanta and a hoe out of Atlanta. I said, oops. You said the same thing six times. Same thing six times. And I was like, how do you go from that to this? I don't like it. I don't like it. And, you know, of course, we're supposed to be like, oh, he got the greatest bar. That's what, that's what happens. You end up liking somebody. So you think, think everything they say is dope. Like, I'm a huge fan of Eminem. But I know some, he got some corny shit out there, right? But, you know, sometimes he just buys you. Like, no, 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 no. Everything he says is hot. But, like, no. You got to let them know. Hey, that shit sucked. He's like, I got a hoe out of Atlanta. She's a hoe in Atlanta. And a hoe out of Atlanta with a hoe in Atlanta. I was like, oh. Change it. Hey. Change it. 
that was garbage. But anyway, so yeah, you got Cardi B and all her crazy shit, and then who else? This is a song that I like right now that I don't I don't even know what it's about. I got to get into it. I should have got into it before. It's a, a Doja Cat. I think that's her name. Yeah, Doja Cat is called Kiss Me More. Now, I love this song. Do I know what they're talking about? No, but there's two parts that I'm I'm curious. You know, well, that caught my attention. She goes, um, this one part, she goes, um, all over my tongue, I want it. And I don't know what she wants. I'm guessing it's semen. I'm guessing semen. Is it semen? Don't know. But I don't really know what the song's about. All I hear is, all over my tongue, I want it. Right? That's one part. And then the second part, she just screams. She goes, I feel like fucking something. And I'm like, <laughs> that's me every other morning when I get morning wood. I, that's what I want to just scream out. I'm like, I feel like fucking something. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what is this song about? Like, I thought it was about kissing. So I, I have no idea, but I have to look it up. I always go, <clears throat> by the way, like when I don't understand shit, I go to this rap genius and I just look up lyrics and they tell you the meaning or like what they meant by what they said and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm like, what the hell is this song about? I don't know, but I like, you know? And what else? There was another song. I don't know. This is why I need to write shit down, you know? You know what I don't like? Oh, that's another one. See? I don't... Oh, I did that. oh yeah. Okay. Don't know how to say her name. I'm probably going to butcher her name, but I actually never heard somebody say it on the radio or anybody say it out loud. Uh, oh, this is going to be rough. I, I, I should just spell it on the screen and not even say it. I'm going to embarrass myself. Jen he... The J H E N E echo 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 echo. That's also the sound Mario makes in Mario sixty four when you press start. Echo. Anyway, I think that's her name. This is Jen He Echo. I don't know. Watch it be something normal. Like it's Jean Echo or something like that. But anyway, her right. If you go back, there's a song "Post to Be" <laughs> with Omarion and Chris Brown, and I know everybody knows this 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 part, right? Because that's when she says the, the infamous line, gotta eat the booty like groceries. And I was like, woo. Where did she make that up from? <laughs> right? <laughs> was, she was sitting down, like, hmm, let me see. In my part, I don't even know what Post to Be is about. I don't even know what that song's about. But she was just li literally sitting there, like, hmm, gotta eat the booty like groceries, right? And I was like, yep, best line. In that whole goddamn song. And the song, and she got that little part, you know? You know, meanwhile, like, the whole song is supposed to focus on the other two fucking dancing and pop locking and shit. But meanwhile, she just stole the song. We gotta eat the booty like groceries. Because I bet you, if you ask anybody the lyrics to that song, that's the only lyric they're gonna know. They're not gonna know the rest of the fucking song. I don't even know what the fuck they say, right? But I'm like, damn. But then I was like, she has another song where I, I first heard it. When I was in the office, right? Remember, I actually posted this on like an Instagram or something. I was eating an apple and I'm just playing her song. And I, I think it's called, I, I want to say it's Pussy Fairy. I think it's Pussy Fairy. But anyway, but you know, they don't, they don't have Pussy Fairy. It's like P-U dollar sign, dollar sign Y or some shit like that. Anyway, she goes, um, Boy, that dick makes me so proud. That dick makes me so proud. She says it like four times. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I mean, damn. She must have got some some really good D. Because she kept repeating it. That boy, that makes me so proud. That dick makes <laughs> and that And that's the only lyrics I know of that whole song. I don't know anything else. Ask me anything else. Don't know it. But yeah, I'm like, these women are killing it with these lyrics. Like... And even before all this shit, what was it? Beyonce. Remember everybody was trying to figure out Beyonce, what she was saying? What was that song? Is it Drunken Love? She was like, and I've been drinking watermelon. And remember, everybody was trying to interpret that. You see, you go on everything, like, 
you Google it, like, what did Beyonce mean? And it's like 50 billion things like, oh, what she meant was uh, she likes drinking semen. I'm like, oh, okay. I just thought she liked watermelon, you know? How about that? Let's just take it for what it is. She likes watermelon juice. I don't know why. Maybe it makes her horny. Who knows? But yeah, there's a gazillion interpretations of it. But everybody's leaning towards like, she likes drinking semen. And I'm like, cool, whatever. I don't think that has watermelon taste. Don't know. Never tried it. But, you know, what can you do? But yeah, man, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the women and their lyrics, man. Anything like all the songs I play, like uh, it's, it's normally repeats of women singing songs. Yeah, I'm I'm going through my my list. It's it's a bunch a bunch of women stuff. But anyway, moving on. But yeah, you if you hear any dope women lyrics, send them my way because you now you know what I like. You know what I like to hear. Rihanna, I'm a fan of Rihanna. Huge fan. I'm a, more of a fan of her videos. If you've seen the work, work, work video, where it's two videos and one video of the same shit, I still look at that video and I get a boner. And I said that. Hey, I said that. I get a boner every time I listen to uh, both both ones. You know, the first one, I'm like, yep, must be great to be Drake, right? And then the second one, I was like, oops, I see your nipples, and they're not blurred out. It's on TV. I find that kind of weird. You just see all nipple. You see every part of nipple, the fucking thing with the thing with the thing. Oh, I don't know all the scientific names of it, but you see it all. And I'm like, hey, they don't blur that out. You could just show titty on the thing. And I'm like, cool, show titty. I don't care, you know. But let's see, let's move on from women. Because, you know, I could go all day with women lyrics because, I mean, I keep them on loop. That's how much I like them. But what I got on here? Ta -ta -ta -ta. Uh, oh, this is the things I don't like about. What's with all these secret album drops? Like, I didn't even know this Nicki Minaj album's coming out. Remember, like, before you, you would know when somebody's dropping an album and stuff? Like, I think that, that happened to Lil Wayne or some shit. Where so, Like, there was an album. They were like, oh, you heard the new Lil Wayne album? He dropped it last night at, like, 12.04. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, where did that come from? I never know what's going on. Like, I got to go to Apple. I got to go, what, what's new? Like, top charts, newest albums. That's what I have to do, because I have no idea when all this shit drops out. Like, I was waiting. Oh, we're going to get to Drake, right? But I was waiting for, I heard, you know, a Drake album's coming out. And I was like, ooh, can't wait. Huge fan of Drake, by the way. Now, we're going to go into Drake. Huge fan. I've been, been a fan of Drake. I watched Degrassi back now. I don't know if you guys watched Degrassi, but I was a fan of Degrassi, right? You know, I don't know why it was so bad, but I, I watched it anyway, right? Because it was funny. It was like, this show is so awful. It's hilarious. So, you know, I remember him being a little basketball player. What was his name? Jimmy or something. You know, I remember that Drake, right? So it's so weird that I, I knew that Drake and then he became this other Drake, right? So anyway, I, I liked him since Degrassi and I liked... Everything he's put out, it's catchy, you know, and I liked everything. And then, like, I talked to friends, like, and a lot of my friends don't like him. I'm like, how could you not like Drake? I'm like, everything he puts out, it's catchy. You, you, it's in your head. I mean, from, um, from the beginning, you to you the best, all the way to the newest shit, you know what I'm saying? Was this, was this the new one? I don't even know the new shit. Anyway. But yeah, I was waiting for his album to drop. And then I thought it was going to be, you know, a whole album. It was like three songs. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, what? Three songs? I've been waiting forever and you, you dropped three songs? A Lemon Pepper freestyle and what's next and something else. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, when, when you dropping the rest of the fucking... 10 songs, you know what I'm saying? Have at least 13. Like, what's going on here? It's three songs? But yeah, it's like all these rappers. I'm like, what's with this secret album shit? I didn't know about the Nicki Minaj album. The only reason I know about that is because when on Apple saw what's new and she had all this new stuff and then her new album appeared and I'm like, okay, okay. I didn't know. 
I didn't know. How do you, how are you supposed to know this shit? Like so now I'm following people like following people I like listening to. You know, I like I don't know who Joyner Lucas is. Really don't know who he is. Got to be honest, I know he was on the Eminem song and now I'm a fan, so now I'm trying to go back and listen to whatever he put out, you know. He had a song about like Will Smith or some shit. I'm feeling like Will. Da, 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 da. But yeah, like so I don't know who that guy is, but now I'm a fan. And J. Cole, always a fan of J. Cole. J. Cole is like, I don't know how to describe him. It's like famous but not famous. I think that, but I, I like his songs. I end up liking his songs too. You know, uh, I know a lot of people who always, like, they're the ones who tell me, you know, the J. Cole album dropped if, yeah. So I, I got to start following these, these damn rappers and R&B singers so I know when their shit drops. Because I'm totally out of the loop on all that shit. And then, like, so I listen to, like, a, a lot of, like, old school R&B. You know, I'm, I'm huge into R&B, old school stuff, right? But how horny were those motherfuckers back in the day, right? <laughs> how incredibly horny were they, right? You had, like, fucking 112. They were like, peaches and cream. You know, is it some my dream? I'm like, how do you even... That shit sounds disgusting. I never tried peaches and cream. Don't want to. When you see the music video and they're dipping it, it's like, Aah. that shit looks disgusting. But like, you got like, just hopped out, fresh out the shower. You know, you got <laughs> on the hotline, pretty Ricky, all this other shit. It's like, how horny were you motherfuckers back then? You know? All these old school songs, just all like, yeah, you touch me and then I touch you back and ooh, I liked it. <laughs> what, damn, what's the one that I always listen to? The one that starts off, I wonder if she can tell I'm hard right now. And the whole song is about him being hard dancing. And I'm like, ooh, disgusting, right? <laughs> uh, it's crazy how music changed, man. I mean, R&B was some horny motherfuckers. I don't even know what's, what's good R&B right now. Like, who's that right now? I have no idea. No idea. I mean, shit. You know what I'm playing a lot? You know, this is from, like... I've been hearing songs on TikTok, and some of them I like. Some translate well to listen to, like, the whole song. But some is like, yeah, that can only be a damn TikTok for 30 seconds. I can't listen to that whole damn song, right? But there's one that I'm playing like crazy. It should be my number one right here. Hold on. Unlock it. If you don't know that song, uh, put the thing here so you, you can hear it. It's like, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it. I don't even know what the song is about. Can you unlock it? Roller coaster ride in the sun. See, I don't know why. That's my favorite jam right now. My favorite song right now. I'm playing that. I don't care. I don't care if I'm, I'm lifting heavy or I'm at the gym. I'm doing fucking sprints. That song is playing. It, 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 I don't know why. But I could work, I could do anything through, through that song. So that song's always gonna be on in my damn thing. I mean, like, even when I put, like, to, like, uh, rotate, it always pops up on my rotation. So that's how much I play that song. What else? What else is good with music? What I didn't talk about? Fucking horny RB singers. I went over that. Secret album drops. That's stupid. Don't understand it. But whatever. In crazy country. Yeah, that was about it. That's all I had to say. Well, shit. When I kept this at 33 minutes, I think that's good for me. You know, I don't want to keep these things too long, you know? Because I want to be able to put out a lot of them. And I don't want to be talking like, and who the fuck? Like, I'm right now, I'm parched. I'm like, you, you, you endless talking and talking and talking. So I think I'm going to end that here. But, um, uh, just keep posted. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. I got the hang of this shit, and and I'm going to have fun, you know? Um, like I said, I'm going to do sketches. I'm going to do some gaming. Only on horror games. Horror games, because you can see how I scream like a little girl. But um, horror games, I'm going to be doing that game streaming. Um, and I'm thinking about doing something with fitness, if you guys don't know. Used to be like a 300 pound man, then I got down to 190, and now I'm back at like I'm I think I'm like 220, 222 right now. 
but the goal is always to be, I wanted to try to be 185, so I might do a fitness thing too. It depends, like, I'm not shy doing a lot of things, but for some weird reason, when it comes to recording myself working out at the gym, I become extremely shy. Like, I mean, extremely shy. I'm like, I, I don't know how to break that yet. I've been trying to, like, I'll, I'll start recording myself. And then somebody walk by and I just be like, I fucking, if my, <laughs> if my, my camera's on the floor, I kick that shit like, Psh, you know, like I become, I don't know. I don't know. It, and it's, it's crazy because if you know me, I do a lot of crazy shit. Like I'll, I'll just straight drop my pants in this camera right now. But it's like. Yeah, when it comes to working out and recording myself working out, I get shy. So I'm trying to, you know, get over that. If I could get over that, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do something fitness because um, it'll be like my journey from 222, whatever the fuck I am. I think I, I think I am 222 to getting down to 185, you know. And I think me recording it actually will help me, you know, be more accountable and stuff. And then it's going to be real. It's like, you know, you always see these people like doing fitness shit. And I feel like. I never see somebody, I want to see somebody who has, you know, a nine to five, uh, has kids and how they balance, you know, that working out. I mean, I want to see that. And I think, uh, I haven't seen that. And that's what you'll see on my page. Like, you know, there's always like people that got fucking a, a ton of free time or they have a job that they could start later shit. Like I got a job. I got to, I got to be there at seven and I get out at, you know, four thirty. So it's like. You know, where's the time? Like, where am I supposed to work out? And then I got kids I have to entertain. I got the wife and kids I got to entertain. So I think that's what will be different because I'm, I'm going to try to do even two a days, you know, because I want to get this weight down. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Like I said, I got to get over this uh, being at the gym camera shyness thing. And once I get over that, I think I could do it. But I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it next week, see what happens. But yeah, besides that, you know, I'm going to be working on the page. I don't have, everybody's like, you have to have a nickname and shit. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want a nickname. I don't have a nickname. I've been using Moist for a while, but the whole story behind that, long story short, because I want to end this, um, there's a Shaggy song, right? Hey, sexy lady. I don't know if you know that song, but at the end of the song, he says, out of nowhere, Moist. And I always thought that was funny, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna put that in my name somewhere. So like, all, all my social and everything, you always see moist eighty five or moist, 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 and everybody was like, where the fuck you get that from? But that's where I got it from. So now y'all know the history behind that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna just go with Raf D, you know, and then you can add whatever the fuck Raf. I know some of y'all trying, trying to be funny, like Raf D's nuts or whatever the fuck. But yeah, I don't want to fucking come up with a you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, you know, as shit goes along. But um, if you guys got any suggestions, but from right now, I think I'm going to just keep it to Raf D, you know, we'll see what happens. But anyways, uh, thanks for listening. I know, <laughs> I know I can't sing, but and it's going to be crazy because I right here I got in front of me. Like it has like uh, the vocals and like the bars. And when I was singing, the, them shits were going up and down like this. So I got to see how that comes out. Might have to redo this whole damn thing over from shouting. But um, anyways, thanks for listening. And I will see you on the next one. Later. Don't, don't be angry. I'm not angry. I think it's funny. Ha 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 